What do you feed your snails? What do you feed your snails? What do you feed your snails? Sheila, what do you feed your snails? Hmm, I wonder what this video could be about. You guessed it, what we feed our snails. Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today we are gonna be talking about what we feed our snails. It is one of the most asked questions we get because we sell so many snails. If you're interested in snails, I will leave a link in the description box below and you can go and check them out. So let's go take a look at what we feed our snails. Okay, so here is some of what we feed our snails. So let me start with the very obvious that most people would recognize and that is the algae wafers. We do feed these occasionally. I do think that a balanced diet is very important and so just to just say feed one thing, I don't think is correct. But what we do predominantly feed is the rapashi soylent green and then we chop up uh, broccoli we've got green beans and then there's bloodworms in here as well they're just actually thawing and then we add in the calcium as well you can also just feed green beans like this these are organic no salt added straight out of the can the no salt added is very important with that so you can just do that you can blanch a big stalk of say broccoli and just throw that in. You can do zucchini. Uh, they do like cucumber, but I find maybe not quite as much. Um, but they, those are vegetables that do have some element of calcium in, so they are really good for them. But the best way to get the calcium in them completely is to do what is known as snello. And so this basically is our version of that. So what we do, actually, let me just talk about these. These are amazing. The snails go absolutely crazy for them and they are calcium chips we do sell these on our website and they are basically calcium and spirulina and you just feed one per week well one to two per week depending on how many snails that you have if you've only got one snail then you would just break half up and feed it once a week this this really does give them a good amount of calcium so what do we do with our snello this is usually my base mix so the bloodworms i just chop up some of the canned green beans and then i have blanched some broccoli and cut that up also i then will add in a table spoon of calcium to the mix so we'll put that in and then i'm not going to use this little one because that i just put that one there to show you but we actually use this monster thing because obviously we do have a lot of snails this food does last a very very long time one of the things i do here is oh wow it's so expensive to buy but it does last a long long time and the good thing with something like this is you can make up as much or as little as you like so you don't have to make really large batches you can make a really small one and that will be just fine too it go, stays in the refrigerator for up to two weeks so you're not having to make new batches all the time which obviously is fantastic so i'm just going to get some boiling water so this essentially it's almost like adding the gelatin to all the veggies and everything you use except it has an awful lot of good ingredients in it as well that snails and fish alike actually go crazy for so once you've got the basic mix of what you're going to put in there you then just add in the boiling water now i'm not giving sort of do a tablespoon of this and a tablespoon of that because i just eyeball it and everybody likes different consistencies so if you just work it out for yourself what consistency that you like if you're not happy with it you can add more in which is exactly what i am going to do right now all right i maybe should have used a tablespoon for that but never mind And then once you're happy with the consistency that you've got and it is all mixed together then you're just going to wait for it to set and cool down because obviously you have used the boiling water and belfin is going mad in the corner right now he absolutely loves this food apache is a great food to feed goldfish and it is predominantly what we feed him so for all you belfin fans 
when this is cooled down I will actually feed him some so that you can see him. So that is the mix and as you see that was really easy to make and I mean in this case I've only made a small amount right now so this will actually last us a very long time but for the average snail owner that would last a very long time and you will probably only need to make a lot less than what I've actually made here. I do just want to add that this food can be used to feed a lot of different types of snails. We do predominantly only have the mystery snails and ram's horn snails, but it can be used to feed many different types of snails. Let me know in the comments box below what you found successful to feed your snails. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.